Hey guys, it's Aaliyah and you're watching Aaliyah TV. Hey guys, it's Aaliyah, so welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if I don't look at the camera and I look down. Uh, if you haven't seen my Trinidad and Tobago Carnival vlog, definitely go check that out. But I'm using that camera, the vlogging camera, and it's just connected to my phone. I just want to try it out, see what it's giving. You know, the there's like this cool filter setting on here. So just wanted to try it out as well. Now that I have this small disclaimer out the way, uh, so if you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about my one year arm lipo 360 update. Yeah, yeah, it's been a whole year. So this is my arm and how it's looking. Uh, I'm... <laughs> The way, okay, I'm trying to stay within a certain frame because I'm going to have to edit this video or whatever, my green screen. So honestly, I think my arm still looks and feels really good. I feel like the skin, I don't know, I think, I don't know, I guess it, it could be more like snap back like and... I stopped getting massages at two months so maybe that has something to do with it because I did stop at two months yeah and I, don't, I think I look pretty good honestly oh yeah I got my arm hairs ripped out last night just so I can do this video to show y'all so and even from the side you see my incision oh I'm not wearing a bra so you can't but I don't have a lot of bra fat this is how my arms are looking um, I'm still very very happy about my arms um, still the, the best decision I've ever made one of my favorite surgeries um, and I, t I don't know if I told y'all in the previous video I did about it I know I haven't been like updating as much um you know it was probably ugh, I hope it doesn't bother anyone that my eye level keeps changing but yeah I've been going through some things um I'm feeling a lot better now maybe I'll talk about it one day on the channel I'm not too sure but I have a lot of big announcements coming up so definitely make sure that you are subscribed if you watch a couple of my videos by now definitely 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 subscribe and also check out the community wall because I do post on there from time to times and I do do shorts and I'll like post shorts and stuff like that so let's get into it so okay I did I was supposed to do a review on Dr. Miles and his facility and I ended up not doing that review so I am going to talk about it briefly in this video I, I need to talk about the massages so he recommends the massage where you I'll insert a picture but it's the one with the machine the I forgot what it's called but I'll insert like a video or something what it is and the the um the massage the massage place I was going to here in Dallas, um, it's Nurse CEO's uh massage place. Not sure what it's called. I forgot. It was so long ago, y'all. But I'll insert the the place. So they didn't. They said no. We can't do that on you because you're still fresh. Like we can only do that after you're like how long was I like two months I think yes because you have to wait like a certain amount of weeks before you can do that because to them it's a liability um something about the machine wouldn't um it would affect the results is what they were saying and it would it'll also be like a liability to them because it can hurt you is it was something like that so I ended up just getting regular regular um massages like how you would get your regular massages for lipo but just on my arms and my upper back and stuff and that was really good 
and you know it was really good when I was going and stuff and I don't know I just felt like like I was getting really dependent on the massages so I needed to like break out of the cycle and I just stopped going <laughs> I went to the Miss USA uh, show and then I came back and I had an appointment I slept through it and I just never went back so yeah but I think you should get more massages um and also like take time to come out of your garment go back in stuff like that oh one thing i would i would say early on and it did took a while and i'm still kind of sensitive but now like if somebody was to go like this and touch me like that you know or if you grab me like that used to hurt so bad and it hurt it like that for a couple months i would say like maybe like five to six months post-op I heard it like that it was so weird so yeah I didn't like people touching my arms doing nothing like that I would get so freaked out and um <laughs> the movie that I'm in uh one of my scenes the one of my um co-stars in the movie they had to grab my arms yeah and Guys, I'm, I'm really an actress because it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. And stating character, you know, I didn't, you know, I just, I just wanted to cry, but I didn't. <sighs> yeah, so that's what happened. So uh, I can't wait till my movie comes out. I'm not sure when it's coming out it was supposed to been out so I'm really not sure but I do have a vlog to drop with it um so I'm so really excited I still need to edit the vlog so I guess I'm kind of glad it hasn't dropped yet since the vlog is not ready <laughs> it's not ready so yeah so that's what happened with that in the healing process I would definitely say this is probably like a kind of like a, a slower healing process than like a like lipo 360 on your your stomach your abdomen and stuff like that um maybe if i did m my massages a little bit longer it would have helped more but i didn't so i wouldn't know okay now let's get into the review of dr miles and his staff so after surgery i only heard from them like for my follow-up and stuff like that but after i left tampa i like I haven't heard from them nobody reached out to me for updated pics or anything like that so yeah that's that I don't know I guess maybe I expected a little bit more since it's a private practice so I guess I was just like expecting I was expecting more I would say just only because it was a private practice but um you know I really I was upset nobody like reached out see how I was doing over the months like asked for pictures or anything or just check in I, I really was but you know it's fine or whatever in the grand scheme of things if I went to anywhere in Miami they wouldn't be checking on me so you know it is what it is but it was just I guess I was just disappointed because it was a private practice so I was looking forward to that you know they did tell me to send them pictures after they took my pictures and stuff at my uh post-op appointment um but I don't know I just feel like you know you would just follow up with someone if you really wanted to see their results or their pictures or like check up on them and see how they're going if you guys get what I mean the staff everyone there was really friendly um I really don't have any complaints any complaints about any one of them uh, everyone was really nice and stuff like that and honestly if I was to reach out to them now I'm pretty sure you know they will say something and I mean just reach out as like sending my pictures like hey it's my one year update like look at this and I also took these pictures when I was like at this month and this month so I feel like you know it's they won't be weird about it they'll be nice respectful things like that so I would say I do recommend Dr. Miles and uh, everything was great you know i do want to get one more round of lipo so he is someone i'm considering so but I'll, i'm holding off on that and you guys will understand why in later videos so yes and do i recommend this procedure 1000 percent 
yes if you have bigger arms and it's just a bunch of fat you doing whatever low workouts y'all swear is gonna do whatever i don't know i don't really care to know um and you're not seeing results i would 1000 percent recommend arm lipo 360 and uh, definitely add the um the skin tightening for autograph arms and you're just gonna be so amazed like seriously do this and also add your upper back if you're if your upper back is big and you've been trying to unbig it all this time and it's still big just add the upper arms just do it just add it just add it add it and you'll feel and look a hundred percent better a hundred percent sides you don't want to be walking around here with you know your nice skinny arms and everything and your back big as hell you don't want to do that but yes i digress i definitely recommend this procedure and i definitely rec recommend dr miles and tampa bay body sculpting so let's really get into my notes for my one year update so you know i showed you guys at the beginning of the video how i'm looking still everything like that this is me flexing with my muscles this is me flexing muscles Still flexing. This is this arm. Still flexing. Still flexing. So, yeah. So that's my, how my arms are looking now. And I am still loving my results. Definitely 110%. I love it. Wouldn't change anything. Like, no. This was definitely a must have. Just like my LASIK eye surgery was a must have, the arms is a must have. I cannot stress this enough. And okay, so I did gain some weight since uh, last August. And um, it was kind of weird. Like, my weight's always going up and down, up and down, up and down. It's so weird. Um, I'm actually, <laughs> even though when I gained weight, it didn't go to my arms. Thank God. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. It didn't look any different. It, it went to my boobs and my stomach and my butt. And, yeah. And it, it really went in my boobs. Like, it really did so my arms weren't affected thank god but honestly i don't recommend like just to gain weight that's crazy i just you know i just gain weight uh i am on semaglutide so that'll be the next video i film after this so definitely be on the lookout for that video so that's really all the notes i had since i like kind of intermingled everything uh for this one year review it doesn't hurt as much anymore i feel like if somebody was to i'll just feel it and i'll still kind of feel it after but i guess it's still healing maybe in the next three months it'll be just completely fine back to normal or whatever and um ugh, sorry sorry if my eyes keep jumping around so yes i'm really excited really happy about my results um if you are thinking about getting this procedure four thumbs up recommend and uh for surgery in the future like i mentioned um i'm gonna wait you know i'm on some glutide right now so i'm gonna uh let that go through and everything and just relax i have a lot of stuff coming up so you know it's surgery in the future it is like way in the future now for me um this was actually the only year 2023 the only year i did not get anything done so wow yeah the first year in three years 2020 2020 is when i started getting everything done I've, and i've had at least one thing done every year since then so yeah and well, I would say what I want for future surgery is just another round of lipo and uh, skin tightening on my abdomen. Probably won't do another BBL. I don't know. It depends on like where I go and how I'm feeling. 
um, but I like my butt so far and I still have some more weight to lose on um, semaglutide so I just have to wait and see how it goes and all that stuff plus I have to be like off semaglutide before I actually like have a surgery so I need to make sure like I I continue all my healthy habits to like keep the weight off and stuff like that so it's it'll be very interesting but definitely stay tuned I'm thinking about you know doing like commentary on surgery like you know surgery stories that are going viral um, I don't really like doing that because I don't really want to exploit the situation so much so I, I only want to do it if I can like be informative educational um on it and it show insight and stuff like that that's how I'm looking at it because I know people do a lot of things for a click and a, a click and a, a view and you know I, I get that but that's not really like I've <laughs> Yo, I was gonna say that's not really what I do on this channel, but my story times I need that click and that view on my story times for sure. But I guess I just feel that way about surgery content because that's really personal, you know what I'm saying? That's involving like other people talking about other people's stories, it's, it has nothing to do with me, so I guess that's what I mean. So, yeah. <laughs> okay okay so if you made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone who watched like all my videos i really appreciate it if you haven't watched my trinidad carnival vlog definitely watch it yeah, stay tuned for what i have coming up and things i'm doing in the future and uh, i'm thinking about doing like a little soft launch for my body butters and whip soap so if you're into that i'll leave a link down below where you can shop and purchase and support me you need it and i would very much appreciate it but that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye